Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology once again. Today we are continuing with the series of planets in houses from Venus, not from the moon, not from the ascendant. Just a reminder again, planets from Venus. So wherever your Venus is sitting, count from there. So today we have reached the seventh house, which is actually the house of Venus. <laughs> so we are not talking of seventh house from the lagna. We are talking of Venus in the seventh from that house, which means seventh from Venus, because seven houses are always <laughs> complementary. So wherever your Venus is sitting, check what is going on in the seventh house from there. And when I say check the seventh house, I do not mean that just see the planet which is in the seventh. You also need to check what is the seventh lord doing. Seventh lord, not of the chart, of the house which is falling seventh from Venus. So the seventh lord in this case is very important. Seventh lord again from where Venus sits. So you have to see uh, where the seventh lord is sitting and where... Uh, what kind of planets are sitting in the 7th from Venus or even aspecting 7th uh, from Venus. And you have to see where is the 7th Lord. Is it involved in some kind of Raj Yoga from the Ascendant or if uh, that planet is involved in some kind of Dur Yoga also from the Ascendant. Is it linked to the Dustana houses from the Lagna chart? Okay, so these concepts are a bit complicated and uh, for the advanced uh, students of astrology, but nonetheless, if you are new to astrology, then you can still hear. I'm sure you will be able to understand or I'll try my best to explain. And if you have not watched all the other videos, then you will find it somewhere. Uh, you can type exotic astrology uh, house planets in houses from Venus. And then you should find. I think I have done till uh, today is the seventh house. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your Venus, Sun, Mercury or any other planet, <laughs> then you will find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him irrespective of who is there in the seventh from Venus. So now, uh, what is the seventh house in general, not from Venus? The, the seventh house in general is the house of marriage, is the house of partnerships, uh, collaborations. It's the house of um, endings because the sun sets there you know, in the seventh house. It's like the sun gets debilitated there and Saturn gets exalted there. So <clears throat> the seventh house in general is to do with compromise and adjustments basically. And the seventh house is the completion or the ending of every house because any planet uh, sitting anywhere will aspect the seventh house from itself. And a planet in seventh from a uh, house or planet will also aspect that house or that planet. Okay, so uh, therefore, planets in seventh to each other are like uh, they. It's like you know. Imagine you are going somewhere. You know, if you travel in uh, trains in India, you will see you know like there's AC three tire or you know whatever like chair car or first class. It may not be first class, but even up till second class you can see this third class also that when you are sitting then there's somebody sitting in front of you right <laughs> so now what happens if that person is uh friendly to you uh it's nice you might have a good company during your journey right you might talk on different topics but imagine if that person is not very friendly to you then what happens i mean uh, that's a crazy time because you are just all by yourself then, right? So therefore, uh, planets in 7th house from Venus are very important because they tell you the things which will inevitably come to Venus. Either you like it or you don't. Or either Venus likes it or it doesn't. Now, Venus itself represents everything to do with the 7th house because he is the Karaka for the 7th house. My God, for God's sake, he is the Karaka, right? So, now, now this Karaka, it seems he has to do his job, uh, which means he now has to uh, somehow come into 
an agreement with the planet in the seventh from Venus. Okay. Now, of course, we know Mercury can never be in the seventh from Venus. Sun also cannot be, but they might be ruling the seventh house from Venus. That is still possible, always, nonetheless. So, for example, if your Venus is in Aquarius, then Surya will be uh, the seventh lord from Venus. And if your uh, Venus is in Jupiter signs, which is Sagittarius or Pisces, then Mercury will be the seventh lord from the placement of Venus always. Okay, So, <clears throat> just see what's going on. So, now the thing is, uh, because any planet in the seventh from Venus will aspect Venus. So, this means that planet will try to force Venus to bring some of the traits in relationships, okay? So, for example, uh, if Mars is aspecting Venus, then um, it, it means, you know, there can be some violence in the marriage or there can be, uh, your marriage can be very short-lived sometimes. Or not marriage in general, it can be relationships also, okay? <clears throat> Like, for example, you meet somebody and you fall in love and then whatever, then you get married and then suddenly there's divorce or something like that. Okay, so these are very general things, but some traits will come like that. That will happen always, you know, some traits of that planet will come repeatedly as a pattern in your relationships. Okay, so you have to understand uh, that. These are certain things which will be inevitable. So, similarly, uh, Saturn is in 7 from Venus. So, so, Saturn is now aspecting Venus. Okay. So, th this means that there will be some inevitable Saturnian traits in the relationships. So, like, you know, delay, disappointment, setbacks, elderly partners or um, different religion, different community, you know, intercaste, these things can happen. So, th that can bring some level of discomfort for you or for your family members, okay, either ways. So, but that does not necessarily mean that the marriage is bad, okay, but there can be some problem in the ambience, okay. So, that is something which you have to uh, get used to. Now, these are very easy to understand. Okay, Venus has Saturn and 7, so this will happen. Jupiter is there, it will be nice. Okay, those things are easy. But here comes the most challenging part. The most important thing to understand what this planet in 7 from Venus will do is to see who is this planet from your ascendant. So it means... Suppose Jupiter is aspecting Venus. He is in the 7th from Venus. So, he is aspecting Venus. So, now you will think, oh, this is very good. Okay. But suppose um, you you are an Aries Lagna. And Jupiter is your ninth Lord. But he is also your 12th Lord. Okay. So, this means uh, there will be some discord. Even if... Uh, Jupiter is aspecting because now for Aries Lagna, Venus is the seventh lord again and the second lord of marriage, marriage and family, both second and seven. And he's aspected by the twelfth lord. Now he's also aspected by the ninth lord. So ninth lord's aspect will bring some, you know, religion and other similar things. Uh, spirituality after marriage, you know, spiritual growth and all this, that's possible. Uh, but there can be some separation also. Separation, not like divorce, but, you know, the person might go abroad and, you know, the spouse may stay back here or it, it could be the other way around. You know, your spouse is going abroad and you are staying back in your country and then you are not able to meet each other, have the relationship to the extent that you could have if you would have stayed together. So, these are the way. So, you have to see which houses the planet lords from the ascendant, okay? So, just see your planet in 7th from Venus and see your ascendant chart. So, if the planet in 7th from Venus is lording a Dustana house from the Lagna chart, then there will be some inevitable difficulties even if that planet is a natural benefic, okay? And sometimes it can get very tricky because uh, Venus himself can be the lord of the seventh house, right? Um, because, for example, if you were Venus is in the sign of Scorpio or Aries, 
then you have venus as the lord of the seventh of either libra or taurus okay so then it becomes further more important to see what is going on with venus so if you know some malefics are smashing venus then it becomes really 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 very difficult and a very big problem and if the trinal lords of the lagna trinal lords from the lagna not from the venus if the trinal lords the fifth lord ninth lord from the ascendant is conjunct venus or aspecting venus or even this planet which is in the seventh from venus then this can really help matters and if the 11th lord from the lagna is aspecting the seventh house from venus <clears throat> then uh, this can mean you know there is a larger forgiveness there's good understanding there is good uh, flow within the marriage so that's how you can study so if dusthanas are involved then there will be something which comes inevitably and the planet in seventh from venus actually tells you certain things which are non negotiable so you you have to ask yourself you know for you what is non negotiable in a marriage or in a relationship you know what are some of the things which you cannot compromise with okay so uh, depending on the lordship you can understand maybe you know what is very important for you because venus is seeking that so venus is seeking something which is directly opposite okay every planet is seeking and also trying to influence something because the seventh house is the farthest planet if you go right a farthest house either you go from this side or from that side it's the farthest house so it shows a very strong level of curiosity regarding those things and that is why the person can uh, be sometimes fearful or the person may be searching okay certain things which that planet that uh, house's lord represents okay so for example if uh, seventh lord from venus is mercury as i said mercury can't be in the seventh but he can lord the seventh so then this can mean you know you are searching for you know friendships or whatever you know some something related to that then that becomes very important that is something which is non negotiable in your marriage okay everything else you can rid of but not that okay so you you have to see you know what what happens if surya is the lord you know there can be some questions of ideals you know maybe you are a vegetarian so for you it's very important that the spouse is also vegetarian or maybe you are a vegan or that that's what you want you know another person also should be vegan so that there are different things you know so if moon is involved then emotional comfort is very important <laughs> jupiter is involved then the ideals should match you know high ideals can be there which can be good or bad also sometimes mm. so therefore try to see what is going on and then at the end of the day as i always keep saying look at the chart look at the second seventh and eleventh from the lagna so that will tell you if actually the married life is good or bad but adding to that so if the horoscope indicates a bad marriage Uh, and seventh from venus also has a malefic then this can mean that the marriage breaks uh, but in a very bad way you know it's like you are unhappy from day one okay some so some, something like that or sometimes natural malefics might be in the seventh from venus but they may be functional benefics as per the ascendant okay so then this means uh, eventually there will be growth but after some after a lot of struggles okay and if natural benefics are in seventh from venus which are natural which are actually temporary malefics as per the ascendant then this can mean you are way too more optimistic than you should be <laughs> and eventually you are faced with reality and you are not able to take it now okay <clears throat> so basically do a comprehensive analysis of the lagna the second seventh eleventh and c planets in seventh from venus and your dashas and then transits that is how you will understand what is going on with the planet in seventh house from venus okay thank you very much if you are new then please subscribe and if you like this video click the thumbs up and my website for consultations is down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will surely find him